Hi everybody, Lisa Brearley here, author of Six Months of Love. So I'm coming to you with chapter number four, uh, which happens in November of 2022. And the title of this chapter was by Uncle Joe, as in goodbye, Uncle Joe. And um, uh, I forgot to tell you in the last chapter, chapter three, that Scott had actually got some um, sad news. Uh, however, it may not be as... Um, big as we think yet. Um, he was diagnosed with cancer, uh, prostate cancer, several years ago at this point. And um, he heard that his PSA um, levels are rising a little bit. However, it may, may at this point uh, not have been a big concern. We're not sure yet and will be monitored. But this chapter, chapter four, um, by Uncle Joe, goodbye Uncle Joe, um, we at this point had moved out of the one bedroom condo and we're in a three bedroom uh, house because I knew my kids were coming uh, at this point in Christmas and didn't want to have them stay in a hotel and that sort of thing. I want to, to be together. So we decided to rent this bigger house. It was fantastic. Give us lots of space to have our own space, do our own like video calls. Um, it had an um, uh, in-ground pool that we could go and relax, had a pool table. It was a fantastic space, a just absolutely amazing space that we had there. Everything from, you know, had laundry facilities and yeah, it was a great, great space. Um, one, one of the big, I guess, um, aha moments in this chapter was um, seeing... Seeing Scott, um, you know, do things that I just, it just blows me away some days, how he step for, steps forward and does things. So we were on a little um, vacation, on our vacation, uh, traveling around to see, uh, I think it was uh, PP Island, uh, Phuket, and anyway, we're on an excursion, a boat excursion, and it was a long day. We had lots of fun. And, you know, there was, I think, around 10 people on the boat. And he just kind of pipes up just as we're like, you know, uh, docking kind of thing. And says, you know, thanks, everybody, for contributing to such a great day. It's like, wow. Like, he just models some really excellent things to me. And if you recall, if you read my first book, wearing that confidence costume is uh, something I had to do often. And, you know. Don't, I don't pull it out very often, but sometimes, you know, I need to. That's okay. Um, however, he doesn't seem to need one often. Not at all. So that was an amazing uh, awareness that I had of Scott and appreciate him that he does. Oh, and I'm hearing light thunder during this, this recording. Amazing. Yes, someone else likes that too. I agree. All right. So, <laughs> and as I said, in all my chapters, I have um, a gratitude thought at the end of the chapter. And so my gratitude thought at the end of this chapter, I'm just reeling through it here, is, oops, here we go. Little Norton is barking. It says, I'm very aware that I believed the many stories that were told to me and I reconfirmed those beliefs over and over in my life. I am grateful that I have this awareness about Scott too. The stories that were the stories that was told about were told about him has been reconfirmed over and over again. I am grateful that I can be with him on his journey of his awareness or this awareness. And so both of us and everyone is in that journey, understanding that you have these limiting beliefs that have been, you know, that you thought were just you and that's the way you're supposed to be. And often they're a reflection of other people and they get um, pushed onto you kind of thing. And so, yeah, I love all the personal development work that I've done so far because that's a huge thing for me. See you at the next chapter, chapter five.